coming over the hill. Is it a monster? I'm skeptical. Yeah, it's not. No. It's a new plugin. It is a new plugin, uh, but uh, uh, it is uh, apparently a monster. So, but however, Sean, um, here we are for an episode of Is It? <laughs> and today we are looking at. We are looking at the Vertigo VSE 4 Gyrator EQ. <laughs> <laughs> How did I know that was going to set you off? Gyrator. A read. Why? Why is it, is, it not, is there not enough words in the title already? I don't think there was enough letters or what words do, or what numbers. What do you think the gyrator... Are you going to tell us what the gyrator applies to? Uh, it, it refers to how it's constructed. It's it's basically like a tube. It's a saturation circuit called a gyrator. Look, I don't you're invent these you're things. You're winding me up. I'm That's not winding you up. That's rubbish. what it is. Rubbish. But anyway... anyway. This was suggested yeah. to us by someone in the comments. Thank you. They asked us to have a look. You should you should name check these people. We should. Uh... They've all got weird YouTube names. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, I could do that. <laughs> Can't be bothered. Um. So Probably a bot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. So. What you said about my bot? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. No, nothing in a review that's got the word gyrator in it. That's for sure. Okay. Okay, anyway. so this is, it's quite a complicated monster, this one. That's hence the monster coming over the hill. It is a four-band fully parametric EQ with 13 filter types per band, high and low-pass filters, uh, up to 36 dB per octave, uh, saturation and FM drive per band. There's an overdrive module, it's got oversampling, and you can drag and drop the modules into any order you like. Is it shit? <laughs> Are we just going straight? No, away? no. Come on, let's go all through the. Well, let's let's in. talk about it. If you look at uh, if you look at the unit, obviously you can see the input section mm -hmm. on the left. You've got saturation and FM drive. FM drive was an interesting one. Frequency modulation, obviously. Yeah. So, how do you think that applies though to 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 an EQ? Because FM, we think of synthesis. I'm supposed like, to ask you questions. Ah, yeah, you don't like it, I ask them back there. You? you don't like it, up them. <laughs> um, let me let me ask you, what do you think frequency what do modulation? I think? <laughs> well, <laughs> um, it's basically frequency inconsistencies. Hmm. So, or self modulation is a good way to think about it. So, when you turn it on on a channel, you've got a dial. You can dial it up more or less of it. Um, it, it wavers the frequency, mm. so just just the, that's just an interesting effect. Mm. It just makes things sound a little bit more alive. G glad we've cleared that up. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never see it on any other unit ever again. <laughs> that's it. There yeah. you go. Clear, um, clear as mud. But basically, it's a very cool EQ. I mean, the the mm. what was it? How many? Thirteen filter types. I was like, there can't be. There isn't thirteen. There mm. is. There is. Is there? Oh yeah. There's like there's high pass, low pass, band pass, mm -hmm. all pass. This kind of bell, that kind of bell. It's like every possible kind of filter. That's, like, that's four. That's four. I've, I've run out already. I can't think of them all. But there are 13. I did check. Okay. Uh, which is incredibly useful. If you're, I mean, for mastering, which is how I tested this, mm. wow, you can really go to town. I love the idea. It's not the only thing that you can add saturation per band, but it's a really nice feature to have. Mm -hmm. That FM drive is really cool. It does do something. Um. Yeah, and I think it's it's a beautiful looking thing. The overdrive section at the end, I mean, it's it's interesting. And I think you have to be really careful with saturation if you're, you're adding it to every channel. And then there's an, a, there's like a global overdrive as well. Mm. You've got to be careful. Saturation is a nice nice tool to have these days, but but you just got to be a bit subtle. So these uh, these the, the, a tool of this level, yes. you know. I I I've been an engineer for many years. You have. <laughs> Um, but this goes to a level that perhaps I might not want to go to whilst in the creative process of making tunes yeah. and, and what have you. So what sort of application, you know, because we've got the people, hopefully, you know, the, the three or four people that watch this, yep. we've got a good spread of, you know, people that are making tunes in their bedrooms and people that yeah, are, are mastering records yep. and, and making records. Yeah. So where does a plug-in like this sit with within that sort of demographic? within that realistically it's mastering yeah this one i mean you could use it on your two bus i think it's, it's over over the top for that really yeah it's it's a very detailed um i mean you don't have to use it it's not it's not like it's the kind of eq you would go in and search and destroy you know problems mm. that kind of stuff it's it's i think it works better as a sweetening eq right but it's capable of doing almost everything eq wise um the saturation thing i i 
it's it's interesting because quite often you'll have a separate saturator, mm. whether it's a plug-in or a hardware unit. But being able to have more or less of it per band, I like that. Yeah, that is a good idea. That's really nice. Sometimes you want to leave bits of your frequency spectrum alone. Yeah, you leave the mids nice and clean, and yeah. you can add a bit of you can bit of you know a little bit of yeah. in the bottom end, and mm. maybe you can saturate in a nice way the top end just to make it sound fuller. It's, okay, it's nice. again quite often with with. Uh, plugins like this we see that they, they it's almost like they've had this idea for this amazing plugin then they've gone oh we'll add some saturation oh i'll tell you what else we can yeah. add no we, i mean this know. by the way this is a hardware unit that it has is. been modeled the hardware unit isn't anywhere near as um fully featured as this mm. they've basically taken the vsc i think the vsc i don't know what the hardware is called now the vsc three maybe or something but they they've They've basically <clears throat> taken that and made it like a super duper version for the plugin. Um, and so you use this mainly for mastering, or you have used this mainly yeah, for mastering? Yeah, I think that's its application. I mean, you can use it on anything, but it's over spec really, mm. for basic EQ jobs. Yeah. Oh, very cool, very cool. Um, uh, what about demos and things like that, if we wanted to go and have a, have a go uh, for, for a week? <laughs> It'd probably take you that long to work it out, would it? Ah, do you know what, Then I've completely forgotten to research the demo situation on, on the Vertigo. Well... It's, I'm sure there is Sean, one. It, you know, sure you've not just let one. yourself down. Oh, no, I've let everyone You've down. let everyone well, down. I, I will go and write out a <laughs> hundred times, I will research plugins better. I'm sorry. I'm sure, I'm sure it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll be in one of your little... Uh, it'll be in one of the circles. little boxes over there or over there. <laughs> there it'll come up. Uh, but it's worth mentioning that the piece of hardware that this is modelled on mm. is well over £4,000. Right. It's, it's you know, it's it's... You don't see them very often. I've seen like it's, one in real life, I think, ever. Boutique, then it's it's yeah. one of those uh, it, it, ha having having the cupboard for when you need it. Yes, yeah, one of those. Yeah, mm. yeah, cool, yeah. cool. Um, so, um, so how much is it? Two hundred and twenty nine euros. Okay. All right. You know, and again, I can, yeah, it's a lot of that's a lot of money, isn't that's it? A lot of money. Yeah. But if you're looking for something that is this specific with thirteen filters, saturation on every band. <laughs> And yep. all that other useless bollocks that you've uh, got on about. <laughs> <laughs> useless uh, bollocks. Um, then, uh, then you can go and drop 229 euros on it. Yeah. I think if you're building a plug-in mastering chain uh, and you've made the conscious decision to do that other than hardware, if you built a hardware mastering chain at this level, you're, you're going to spend you, you know, tens of thousands yeah. you know, to get a set up. With plugins, you could probably do that for mm. maybe a thousand. Yeah. If plugins cost this, mm. so you know it's a cheaper entry into mastering. Quality is awesome. It's definitely good enough. So. Yeah. Would you buy it? Uh, honestly, no. Mm. Only because I have a mastering setup. Yeah. It does everything I need it to do. I can do saturation per band already using other tools. So I, I guess that, I that's that's the it. thing, isn't it? When you're putting a plugin like this out into the market, you you know you you really are coming up against. People, or you're selling to people that have already got this stuff as well. That's yeah, you know, it's a, yeah, it's a difficult one. I'd love to know a bit more about what sort of volume, how the, many they sell. Yeah, yeah, be fascinating. To we know, were, there was we were did it, talking in a video recently. You know, it's it's like, would you rather sell you know one at two hundred quid, yeah, or two at yeah. one hundred quid each? So well, you got well, I don't care. I'd have the same amount of money. Yeah, but you'd have two, but your market would be twice as big. I'd like to sell twenty at the cheaper price. Yeah, well, yeah. they yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, anyway, uh, just a genius. Nobody knows it. <laughs> not not even you, and I've known you over 20 years. Anyway, um, so, Sean, the Vertigo, uh, you need to turn your card. Vertigo, VSE4. <laughs> I forgot it was called the Gyrator. Uh, oh, the Gyrator. <laughs> sounds yes. like one of those things you buy off one of those TV shopping channels, isn't it? No, it sounds like something you buy from... And it doesn't matter. Well, and so uh, <laughs> sorry if yeah. I'm talking a bit high oh, today. I've got yeah. my gyrator in. <laughs> Remote control. Uh, that explains a lot. Anyway. You keep shuffling so, in your seat. Yes, I know. Yeah, we should, creaky seats. <laughs> um, is it shit? Uh, no, I couldn't in all good conscience say that it's shit because mm. it's not. It's awesome. I do think it's a little bit pricey, but, yeah. but maybe not for what it is. It's one of those. If yeah. you know you want this, you ain't going to be bothered about the price. And of course, they do the a, a decent demo. You can go and check it out. Um, we think, yeah, we think. <laughs> we Who knows? Know, we, yeah, we forgot. Anyway, so there we go. Another fantastic fucking episode of Is It Shit? Um, please, will you like the video? 
that would be great. Uh, if you could also subscribe to the channel, that really helps us. We've got an Instagram, Studio Life 101. We have a Patreon and we have a merch stand and a bunch of other shit like that. And it's all down there. Great stuff. Okay, we'll see you next time. Adios.